Where am I? Apparently, I am in the wrong Christmas special. I've gone forward a year. On Christmas Eve of December 2017, Sonic the Hedgehog was in pursuit of his arch nemesis, Dr. Eggman. The evil scientist used his Eggmobile to fly to the North Pole, where two robots were already waiting with an unwilling captor by a large spacecraft. Please let go of me, Santa begs. I'll do anything, except take you off the naughty list. You really think I care about that? Eggman mocked him. I'm going to ruin Christmas for everyone! Why? Sonic asked him, only to be told, It's in the script! The robots hurried Santa into the spacecraft and flew into space, with Eggman mocking his adversary, Try saving Christmas without a way to get to my death egg, before flying off after the vehicle. Sonic was left standing in the cold Arctic, but he knew he could not do the task alone. He needed help. Sonic ran his way across Earth until he reached a small town in America, where he began searching for people who were willing to help him. He entered a restaurant where many people were conversing with each other. Excuse me, he walked over to a table. Could any of you help me stop someone from ruining Christmas? That depends. A hologram of a blue woman appeared in the centre of the table. Who's going to ruin it? Dr Eggman. Say no more. A woman in a tight blue uniform walks over. There is a bounty on him that I am going to claim for myself. And you are... Samus Aran. Wait. You're Samus? Sonic was in awe. THE Samus? The one who was raised by the bird aliens, the Chozo? Don't overdo it, she sternly told him. Come with me to my ship. Following Samus outside, Sonic saw her large golden space vehicle. Nice ride, he commented. I imagine your income gives you enough to customise it as much as you want. You bet. Plus, it's better than flying with airlines that kick customers off when it's overbooked. Once on board the ship, Sonic noticed there was a woman in a cell at the back of the control room. Or rather, she noticed him. Oh, hello, she was cheerful. Say, Sammy, who's your new friend? Let me guess. Sonic seemed unfazed. You also had a bounty on the Joker's girlfriend. The Joker and Harley Quinn have been apart for years, and not just because of prison. And yes, I'm going to drag her back to Arkham. Come on, Sammy, can't you let this slip for Christmas? No means no, Harley. You'll be going back after this blue hedgehog, Sonic. Sonic and I save Christmas. How? The clown girl asked. So Sonic told her, Dr. Eggman has kidnapped Santa and taken him to his death egg in space. No! Harley screamed. Not Santa! Wait, doesn't Eggplant or whatever his name is look like that dangerous Bronson guy? Sort of, Sonic replied. Actually, maybe she could help us with this. No, she won't, Samus quickly replied. She's a felon. Oh, come on, Sammy. I work for Task Force X. We're heroes. Sort of. Sonic glanced at Samus, who sighed reluctantly. Fine, just do as you're told. Samus's ship flew out of Earth into space, where its inhabitants soon saw the Death Egg. How to rip off Star Wars, Samus quipped, before flying her ship into one of the docking bays of the large space station. Once it was landed, Harley was released from her cell and stood between Sonic and Samus as they made their way onto the fearsome station. Hang on a second. Samus stopped them, briefly glowing yellow as her powered armour appeared on her. Using her visor, she scanned the environment and then reported back to her associates. There's a security camera up on that wall, a vent network in the wall that leads to the door controls, and a broken lift that takes us to further areas. I'll do the vent. Leave the lift to me, Sonic replied, with Harley adding, The camera will be easy to deal with. You chose the right girl for the job. Continuing their journey, the trio found the laboratory of Eggman's, which they decided to investigate. Hey, what are they? Harley pointed out a window, the creatures inside of it shocking Samus. Metroids, she gasped. Dr. Eggman must have been housing them here for ages. They need to be destroyed before they turn into queens. That won't happen! Eggman walked into the room, his two robots escorting Santa with them. I'm going to release these Metroids to eradicate you all, along with Santa himself. All right, Eggman, Sonic was determined. If it's a fight you want, a fight is what you're going to get. Ha, ha, ha. 
Before Samus could capture him, Eggman used an escape pod to flee the Death Egg. Unfortunately for him, he landed in a prison. More specifically, the prison the Joker and several other bad guys were in. Elsewhere, Harley was taken to Arkham, but despite her annoyance at Samus's cold nature, she was glad to be with her friends. As they were both alone for Christmas, Sonic and Samus decided to spend some time together and talked about their own escapades. And then Lego Dimensions got cancelled, he sadly sighed. What about you? Well, I made a comeback. Sure, it was a remake, but it was still a comeback. You didn't have to wait for authorization to use your equipment, right? Here's a tip. Don't go there. She was her usual stern self. Well, there goes another family-friendly Christmas special. I wonder what the director will do next year. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Interests change, and day by day we improve at our own skills and abilities. That should be compared, really. We should look at ourselves now and then look back a year later to see how we've all changed. Yeah, for once, she smiled. That would be interesting.